got an idea. I've been incarcerated in this hell hole because I am a subversive. I have ideas that the establishment claim are less than sound. Of course, my ideas are less than sound. My ideas are improbable, preposterous, and filled with questionable morals. It is with this in mind that I begin my story in hopes of inciting a revolution. the exact same shirt in any city in America, and on that shirt was an advertisement for that shirt. Hats, shoes, socks, even underwear all sported ads too. Americans everywhere willingly shelled out big bucks to become walking billboards. People also sold advertising space on their foreheads, bellies, and Vicious had begun to notice a sharp increase in the number of naked breasts he'd fondled, which were festooned with the image of running shoes, which you now could purchase for a discount at a burger chain if you brought in a ticket stub from Holly World's latest blockbuster, Happy Days Are Here Forever. This is Third World Gold calling. Congratulations, Mr. Vicious. You have been pre-approved for our Mean Green credit line of up to $100,000. The burger chain teamed up with a communications conglomerate, and their new ad campaign featured hamburger-eating sports stars on cell phones, wearing sneakers, driving cars just like the one Vicious had, which, by the way, was called an antelope. This is Betacrom Capital Calling. Congratulations, Mr. Vicious. You have been pre-approved for our new diamond card with unlimited credit at the special interest rate. Vicious's antelope didn't run for shit. He had considered writing a story about it, but quickly came to his senses. There was now an unwritten rule that all journalists followed. Stay away from subjects that might shed a bad light on sponsors. And for God's sake, don't write any negative stories about the company you work for. All this meant that truth was sometimes colored, but as Vicious's wife Brenda had so astutely stated, What good is truth if you don't have a new car? 